Let me show you the easiest shortcut for making homemade ice cream with the tools you already have in your kitchen. Let's get started. Sweetened condensed milk has 60% of the water removed. This means you're going to have more milk solids adding extra texture to the ice cream. As the name says, it already has sugar added to it, about one cup per can, so you don't have to add any extra. Sweetened condensed milk has a caramel-like consistency and a sweet and milky flavor. Add 14 ounces to a large bowl. I prefer to use vanilla bean paste. It has a combination of vanilla extract and some of the seeds so you get beautiful flecks in the ice cream. Alternatively, you could use vanilla extract or a whole vanilla bean. Add two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. Whisk to combine. This is a good time to add any other flavoring extracts like peppermint or almond. Just add it right in. Heavy whipping cream contains at least 36% milk fat, giving you a super rich and creamy texture. Also, when you start to whip it, it will hold the air so that you have a nice, smooth, and creamy ice cream. Now it's time to whip the cream. All you need is a large mixing bowl and a whisk. However, you could also use a stand mixer, hand mixer, immersion blender, a food processor, or even a blender. I've chilled the bowl to make it whip faster because it'll be nice and cold. Add two cups of heavy whipping cream. I've also chilled the whisk to make the process faster. Slightly tilt the bowl so that you have more volume at the bottom and then start whisking. The goal is to incorporate as much air as possible. I've been whisking for about two minutes and as you can see, it's starting to get thickened, but we need a little more time. Ooh, this is perfect. You're looking for stiff peaks, so where you can hold a point when lifted up. You don't want to over whip, otherwise it's going to get really grainy when frozen. Hand whipping will take about four minutes depending on how vigorously you whisk. To make the ice cream base, we're going to add a third of the whipped cream to the sweetened condensed milk. Gently fold the whipped cream into the sweetened condensed milk. This is going to lighten the sweetened condensed cream and make it easier to blend everything together without losing too much air. We want the ice cream base to stay light and fluffy. The mixture is nice and creamy like a custard. Now you're ready to add the remaining whipped cream. Now I just gently fold this all together. The ice cream base is light and fluffy like clouds. This is the perfect time to add any extra mix-ins if you'd like. It's okay if you have a few lumps, it's better to not over mix it so that the ice cream stays nice and light. The base will yield at least five cups of ice cream, so grab a container that's one quart in size. I'm going to use a nine by five inch loaf pan. Pour the ice cream into the pan. Wow, you are going to be shocked of how easy this is to make. Just spread the top so that it's nice and even. Sometimes I like to add some crushed nuts on top, some cookies, or any of your favorite toppings. Cover the surface of the ice cream with a piece of plastic wrap. Lightly press so they come into contact. This is really important because it's going to reduce the amount of ice crystal formation on the surface. You don't want icy chunks when you take a bite. I also like to place a piece of parchment paper or wax paper on top for an extra layer of coverage. Then tightly cover with foil. If you don't have a lid for your container, the foil is the best barrier against moisture in the freezer. Freeze for six hours or overnight. Ice cream is nice and chilly, let's check it out. Ooh. Store-bought ice cream is always gonna have a little bit more air or overrun in the product because of its constant churning method. However, I really like how rich and creamy this homemade version is looking. Well, no one is gonna ever believe that this is homemade. Store the ice cream in the freezer for up to two weeks. If you've ever wanted to design your own ice cream flavor, now's the chance. To flavor the base, try almond extract, peppermint, or classic vanilla with vanilla extract, paste, or whole vanilla bean. For chocolate lovers, add Dutch processed cocoa powder, white chocolate chips, or your favorite dark chocolate chip. I love green tea ice cream, so just add in some matcha powder. Try fresh fruit like blueberries, raspberries, or strawberries. Add a caramel or chocolate drizzle. Make it cookies and cream with some chocolate chip cookies or Oreos. Add in some cold brew coffee or instant espresso powder or coffee. Add a little saltiness with peanut butter, chopped peanuts, almonds, or crunchy pretzels. Add a little extra sweetness with your favorite jam, marshmallows, and love Rocky Road. 
crushed sugar or waffle cones, and of course, you can't forget the sprinkles. The possibilities are endless, so don't be afraid to experiment. What flavor would you try? Oh yeah, and for the full recipe, check out my website, jessicagavin.com. See you in the next video. Mmm.